Hello, today I'm looking at International A-Level, this is M2, November 2017. Question 1. A small ball, B, of mass 0.2 kilos is hit by a bat. Immediately before being hit, B has velocity, this thing, 10i minus 17j. Immediately after being hit, B has velocity 5i plus 8j meters per second. Find the magnitude of the impulse exerted on B by the bat. So uh, in this question, <clears throat> we need to use the formula that impulse is mass times the change in velocity. So final velocity minus initial velocity. And remembering that impulse and velocity are both vectors. So the mass is 0 0.2, which is 1 fifth. Let's remember that fractions are your friends. And here I need to do what V is, which is the velocity after being hit, which is this one. So I'll put a 5i and 8j. And then I need to subtract these. Now rather than writing two separate vectors and doing like a zillion brackets, I'm just going to write this minus, and on the top I'll do 10 and on the bottom I've got negative 17 but if I take away negative 17 then I'm going to add 17 and so I've still shown all of my working but this is a bit neater than um, putting loads of brackets all over the place so on the top I'm going to end up with uh, one fifth of negative 5 and on the bottom I will end up with one fifth of 25 and so I get the answer, negative one, five. Whenever you think you might have finished, you need to stop and read the question again and see if you've done what they asked. So find the magnitude of the impulse. Now, this is the impulse, but the magnitude of the impulse is um, basically the length of this vector. So, um, we need to apply Pythagoras to this because this vector would go uh, 1 in that direction and 5 in this direction, just drawing a little sketch for myself, 1, 5, with a right angle here. And so therefore the length of this would be the magnitude of the impulse. So I'm going to do 5 squared plus 1 squared and then I'll get the square root of uh, 25 plus 1, which is 26. Uh, that is measured in Newton seconds. Now, um, a lot of students then do an extra step and change this into a decimal. But why take that risk? You've already finished. You found the impulse. There's no need to write this as a decimal. So you can just leave it like this. I say it's a risk because if you round it off and round it off incorrectly, then you will lose an accuracy mark. So it's better to leave your answer like this. Okay, so I hope you found that solution helpful. Do click like if you liked it and good luck with your revision.